All right, guys. So welcome back to another episode. I'm Nick. Today we're in San Diego, La Jolla. And I rented a kayak with Sand Dog Kayak Adventures. Really good people, family run. Comes with Hobie compasses, fully loaded with a guide. And we're also gonna talk with the owner a little bit later if you guys wanna try doing this yourself. All right, let's do it. Ready to roll, champ? Ready to roll. Let's do this. Let's do this. Time to go get some fatty. Yep. All right. I know, I just realized that. <laughs> Look at how much taller you are than me. <laughs> your, your super long legs. You want to switch? Yeah. I have to use my tippy toes. Yeah, as soon as I got in, I was like, holy crap, I, I'm eating my knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, whoa, this drive didn't go in properly. Whoa, that looks like an alaihi. Dude, I've never caught one like oh, this here. No, okay, that's a soldier fish. Oh, okay. I think, I didn't know we get those around here. That's like, um, these fish are native to Hawaii, some of them. There's, oh, really? There's a bunch of different types. Yeah, I, dude, I've never picked one up with this striping and banding like this, and I'm like, okay, well, you're gonna go on the hook and be bait, and we'll see what happens. Soldier fish. All right, guys, we're doing a live bait again today. We got Rufus here. When you pin them through the eyes like that, they breathe really well. It doesn't block their nose. They, wow. they stay alive a lot longer. So we're gonna start our troll now. There's not as much seaweed in the water to get all tangled up on. I'm keeping this guy about a couple feet off the surface. You see him swimming around, super happy. I'll bring him over to this side so you can see him a little better. So basically what I'm doing is I'm putting it about 40 feet, 50 feet behind my boat and just slow, slow dragging him. And I'm keeping my free spool open and just keeping my thumb on it, slowly letting it back. I'm gonna wait five full seconds this time. Thank you. 
No, I had a fish on. I waited five seconds and I pushed it up and it just popped off. Mama and baby dolphin. Whoa, that one's late to the party. Crazy. Come on, play with me. Yay! I think they're feeding. Yeah, I did! Woo! He went under me! He's playing with me, because it's a little one. Dude, he just went under me again. I was Nick, he's uh, filming uh, dolphins right now. They're jumping all around his boat. <laughs> He's farting. Dolphin farts. Just caught a calico bass. Are you nervous? These guys making fun of me. Haters gonna hate! Is it? Do you think it's 21? No. Dang it! <laughs> I think that's probably... So his is uh... I think that's probably about 18. So his is about 20. Alright, his is a lot bigger. Yeah, probably. That's a, that's a fat one, but they can get pretty stout. Like, I'm guessing that that's like 18. Well guys, dang it, I didn't beat Die Hard. It ended up being 17 and a half inches, but that's my first calico bass ever. So I'm super excited about it. So, so far this trip, no yellowtail. It's almost the end of the second day. So it doesn't look like we'll be catching any yellowtail this trip. It was really fun catching all these new species. I caught some bonito, some mackerel from the pier, and my first calico bass. So there's maybe about two, three hours more left to trolling. Uh, bait was kind of tough to catch today, so we aren't having as much luck as we did yesterday. There's no bait today, so the fish aren't here either. If you guys have the free time, definitely get down here. This is such a good deal. It's so beautiful out here. 
it's really beautiful out here totally unlike northern california the water is so deep so clear so blue tons of life tons of bait and the community is really nice here so i just want to go over real quick what comes with this kayak package so first off they supply all the fishing gear necessary all the bait the hooks the lead the fishing rods fishing reels you also get a fish bag full of ice a lunch several sodas of your choice radio paddle more drinks you also get this hobie compass it's brand spanking new and this is the first time i've ever been on a compass and i really like it i definitely think this is ocean worthy if any of you guys are interested in getting a hobie compass it's definitely worthy for the ocean 100 percent you know this boat isn't the fastest boat it's not the most stable but i think it's like the second or third best in every category this boat is really stable no problem being in the ocean so normally the compass only comes with a regular mirage drive sand dog kayak adventures upgraded it for you they also include a guide which is the most valuable part all of this just renting the kayak for this price and all the fishing equipment is a good deal already but adding in a guide is just the cherry on the top thank you to the katie lewis they just dropped off a uni for me you check it out guys check it out <laughs> sick <laughs> free uni guys pays to ask him if you ever see an uni boat just ask him for some uni really cool thanks and you know those divers the divers they check them before they pull them so you know this one's full Alright guys, so this is the P-Line Jointed Minnow. It's a deep diving lure. It's really, it has amazing action. And check what I just caught. And then I just caught this guy too. Little Bonitos. This is actually bigger than uh, the other ones I caught today, so, earlier, so. Today didn't go as planned, so this is plan B. Alright guys, so we're in the middle of the ocean in San Diego. And we came across this little kelp bed here. And normally that means there's some big rocks underneath it. So we're gonna go and tie up to this kelp right here. Drop down, maybe catch a sheep head or something else. Maybe calico bass. You never know what you're gonna catch in the ocean. So wish us luck. First, we have to tie ourselves off to this kelp so we don't drift too much. The current today is really strong. Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, so I'm in.
Don't do this in NorCal. Oh, really? No. Dude, you are gonna love this. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. All right guys, so we're all hooked up now. This is the kelp bed. See that little red rope? It's holding me into the kelp. And then look down, geez. Just down, down, down. The deep blue sea. What kind of monsters live down there? Let's see what we can pull up from the deep. Cool. So unlike rock fishing at home where you always have to adjust your spot, this is completely different. You're just above the spot and you just drop it down and have some fun. Those yellowtail are like Southern California salmon. They're just so hard to catch. Except with salmon it's almost a little easier because you don't have to catch your bait before. Like these, uh, these yellowtail are so keyed in on the live bait that you spend a lot of time catching bait. With salmon, you can just buy bait. They're not as picky. They eat practically anything that's the right size, shiny, a certain color that they like. So let's, uh, so I'm gonna be using a shrimp fly with an eight ounce torpedo weight and I'm gonna be hooking shrimp onto my hooks. Sheephead love shrimp. This is cool. Normally, normally if you weren't tied in, you'd be drifting and you would get caught, you would get caught up on all this kelp. It'd be impossible to fish this. Open. No, I'm fine. No, 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 you can keep him. You think so? Is he good eating? Very good. That's a sculpin, right? Yeah. Yeah, very good Just put him in the fish bag? Or will he pop will he pop the fish bag? Fourteen, that's going to be close. Oh, he just came. He just got off. Oh, shit. That's all right. You're go yeah. What are you? Uh, I believe... Is that a vermilion? No. It's like a kelp red, kelp greenling. No. No. I'm not sure what that is. Is this a kelp greenling, guys? Yeah, what it, it looks like a greenling. It looks like really good bait, though. It looks like a kelp greenling, but it has spines on the top. Kelp greenlings don't have spines, and that head is kind of pointier. But what looks like a kelp greenling is the body. Well, oh no. 
He matches this kelp perfectly, so I'm gonna let him go. Live, live in his home. See ya, dude. So I spoke with the owner and he offered to do a giveaway for you guys. One free trip, fully loaded with fishing gear, kayak, and guide service in San Diego, La Jolla. And on top of that, you can bring two guests with you, fully loaded to go fishing with you. Small stuff. Yeah, they're fun. They're fun. Small stuff. Guys, we're gonna do a surf landing here at La Jolla, San Diego. As you can see, people are getting surf landing and launching lessons. Also, just basic kayak safety and kayak skills. This is a really great spot to learn how to kayak. And I'm not sure why people complicate this launch and landing so much. Um, as long as you don't go out on a really rough day, it's pretty simple. Uh, you actually don't even need your uh, paddle, just your Mirage Drive. Make sure to get in close so that you know where the waves are breaking. Then flip yourself back around, check the waves, make sure nothing big is coming, and wait for a calm set. So I'm going to come over here, and as soon as that last big wave passes me, I'm gonna pedal as hard as I can to try to chase the wave. Then when I get close to shore, I wanna keep my legs separated like this and do short choppy steps. This will keep my fins up and close to my boat so I can land with the Mirage Drive. But if everything works well here, I'm gonna uh, pull up my Mirage Drive right before I land. So I'm seeing where the waves are breaking. I don't like being right here, so I need a turn. Watching the waves. See that these waves look like they're gonna break on me, but just trust it, right? They're breaking back here, pretty close to the surface, pretty close to shore. So even if this wave looks big and it looks like it's gonna crash. Oh! It did crash. I gotta get out of the way here. Whew, that was close, boys. So now I'm just gonna stop talking, wait for a set, chase the wave in, and then put my fins up. So, okay, right after this wave, I'm gonna go. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's right. All right, guys. 
So that's it for the trip. Pretty nice to just come and land your kayak, not have to clean up anything, just go home. We'll take care of the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Hi, man. Nick. Can you tell us a little bit how to um, contact you and a little bit about your company? Yeah, if you want to get a hold of us, we're out of San Diego and our phone number is uh, 619-800-0998 or you can reach us at uh, uh, sanddogkayakadventures.com. Basically what we do is we specialize in uh, Hobie kayaks. Scenic tours and lots of stuff like that, but you guys watching Nick's channel, of course, will be interested in the fishing we do. We do have, we have uh, three different levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Of course, Nick is here at one of the finest fisheries in the world at the advanced trip. So if you're looking to do something like fish La Jolla, you're more than welcome to come on out. Um, if you, if you've uh, got a girlfriend or maybe even a boyfriend, sorry guys, that don't know how to fish that well, um, we've got beginner stuffs too. So we can cruise around the bay, catch a couple of halibuts and bay bass, that sort of stuff. But uh, if you feel like coming down and getting in a Hobie and going fishing, give me a buzz. Hey, thanks man, appreciate it. Right on brother. That was a great trip. Dude, it was great meeting you man. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.